Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're cutting off the four calves from the Texas herd and we're gonna take them over to the original place and actually work them and start the weaning process. Come along.
All right, we got them separated. Took a while to cut. Those calves are a little bit cuckoo. Yeah, I haven't been worked with, you can tell. But uh, got big Joe in here. We've got, and four cows. Yeah, we got four cows in here. Three cows really, one maybe two-year-old heifer. So they're hanging out in here. We're gonna keep them pinned up for now because they're gonna look for those babies. And uh, we don't want them to, we don't want to take any risks and let them jump over the fence or anything. Uh, because it's a little stress, stressful for a couple days, these mamas losing their babies, uh, part of the weaning process. So we're gonna take these guys right now over to the original place and get them worked, vaccinated, get some tags in their ear, and then uh, keep them there and, and mix them in with our uh, our other calves that have uh, been weaning from that property. So we got five Dunbar babies and two Big Joe babies. So we're gonna mix them in there after we work them. Let's head over to the original place. guys well we are at the og the original place got our uh, some of our bulls out here you've seen some of my last footage of uh just hanging out in here working the bulls so got the rig we are getting ready i'm gonna back up because we've got these calves these calves in here hanging out what i'm gonna do is uh actually back up into our loadout into our tub and we're going to unload these four calves in the tub right here which is where we've been working our animals and i uh, showed a video on how the tub worked before we actually worked them for the fall handling and then we loaded big joe eventually out of uh, this loadout as well so this makes it easy we can just back up there and we don't have to chase them around we're going to back up right to the loading gate unload them right there in their tub because we only got four calves it's not very many and they'll be ready to run down the alley into the squeeze chute so uh, they can get their vaccinations warmer and new ear tags for these texas four calves right here so um kevin's going to help me do that as you can see he just helped me round them up so uh i'm gonna back up here and uh use this loadout
All right, so what we're doing here is we are giving these guys some special tags. Marked them with the Texas tags is what we're doing here, just to, so we know the difference of these calves. So we've got a heifer here. What I'm gonna do is, I've already warmed her. Kevin is gonna give her vaccinations, and I'm gonna give a tag in her, what would be her, her left ear and then the bulls are going to go on that side, so. What we got? Something else we're gonna do is because we didn't work some animals whenever we uh, did our big fall handling, we didn't work our yearling heifers, which are, uh, we pinned them up, Kevin pinned them up in here for now. They've been out here um, hanging out. And uh, anyways, we put the uh, cow that we used with Big Joe um, in here with them because they've been getting feed. They're young yearlings and that cow needs feed. So we're trying to, get her health going, but we're gonna go ahead and work these yearling heifers. Um, we couldn't get them caught last time, to be honest with you. Um, and so they're they're pretty easy uh, once we caught them. Kevin caught them this morning uh, with some feed. So we're gonna work them and all they need is warmer. We just got the calves finished and uh, they're back with the calves, the weaning calves that we already had separated from our fall handling a couple weeks ago that you guys saw. So those four calves are worked, the Texas four are worked and uh, they're tagged and uh, we're going to work these yearling heifers real quick and uh, 
these heifers here are going to go over to the new place um, with Big Joe and those four cows and they're going to go out on grass so that's why we're going ahead and worming them we're not going to take them over there today because we just started the weaning process and we're just not going to mess with doing that but we'll, we can load these heifers up um, pretty easy later on so uh, we're going to work them and then we'll bring you along whenever we take those heifers over there and release them on the new place.